come that close to losing her. I won't say it was all roses, but we were on the same page. Pardon the pun. <laughs> I enjoyed writing, and with that I had Lily's support. In fact, she supported me all the way through. Life didn't seem quite so dark. This is around about the time you went back to see Dr. Pike, I'm guessing. Mm. Give or take a few months, but that's poetic license, isn't it? So how's the last month been, Will? Not bad, Doc. What's been happening? Well, I've been getting plenty of work from the farm. Lily and I... Yes? We're getting on better, you know, talking. And James, well, he's great as always. That's excellent, William. And what about the other subject we discussed, uh, your writing? Oh, yes, I've been writing. Did you still want to see? Of course. I'm intrigued to see what you've been up to. I, uh, I finished with your earlier volume too. Thank you very much. So, it's all right, you reckon? All right. William, I think you have something of a gift, my friend. Well, it's wonderful that you think that, Doc. Oh, no, no, not just I. No. Anyone who gets a look at this material would agree with me. Um, it's your descriptions, your use of metaphors. It's marvellous. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Now, what I'd like to do, if you're willing, is to get this to someone who can help you potentially do something about it. And the sooner the better. Well, I suppose it can't hurt. I can certainly see this book helping other returned servicemen with their experiences too. It certainly helped me you know, escape my own winter. William, this is a new chapter in your story. Now, get a manuscript together. Take it to Higgins and Son. And, um, take this note. Good luck. Yes, Audrey? Time for your next appointment, Doctor. I better get going. Yes, off with you. And get writing. Well, I gave him my notebook and he seemed quite impressed.